They're just on right. all day, you know, all night. Shit, yeah. This is my college roommate, Carlos Aguilar. Bookworm Brown right here on his wall. We're in his office here in LA. Going aluminum right here. 20 albums sold. 15 given away. Yeah. Where's your e-bell? So we have a little collaboration go down across yeah, the street here. Yeah, yeah. I do need a little help though. Um, it's come to my attention that a um, painting of a woman's ass and breasts might be offensive to some. <laughs> Wait, can we, I can't explain what you do. I'm a producer for a production company that produces. Tito Santana! I actually met Tito at his um, wife's hair salon called oh. Santana's. So uh, he's still holding it down. Nice. Well, what was his move? Did he have flying, a move? He had the flying burrito. <laughs> Shut up. He did have the flying burrito. <laughs> Sorry. That's how he did it then. <laughs> <laughs> Why would. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, uh, what was the flying burrito? What was the move? Basically an elbow coming off the ropes and just oh. flying with the elbow right to the grill. And Tito Santana's actually, you know, embodies the Latino work ethic, having been the only wrestler to wrestle in the first eight WrestleManias. Oh, really? Take that to the bank. Nice. So what's up? My name is Carlos Aguilar and I'm right here in the swanky um, Larchmont area of Hollywood. Not because I live here, but because I do the lawn right over there. That's my work. Um, I'm here with PK today to give him three reasons why knowing an Asian is always a good thing. First reason is, um, you know, the chopstick tutorial. Uh, so the second reason is, um, <laughs> well, I'd like to come to the defense of the uh, Chinese driver, if I if I might. Yeah. Or the Chinese American driver, because I've uh, seen the Chinese driver in Beijing maneuver, stop, go in reverse on a highway, swing left and right, and not hit a thing. So I could um, see where the training grounds were, and how that might translate into the type of driving required here. <laughs> Oh, someone tell me if that uh, frontal shield enhances or diminishes your periphery. I don't know. Is that? Can you do you drive with one of those, Paul? The, the, <laughs> the, the visor there, and they're taking off the shoes at the door. Oh, super God. sanitized. I'm down with all that. <laughs> Anything we can do to minimize dirt in the crib. Hats off to the Confucian ethic there, because <laughs> leaving the shoes at the door, I'm down with. <laughs> But you have to warn your non-Asian friends, which Paul never gave, did, had the courtesy to do, is to let us know we're going to a house where we might take off our shoes so we could wear our good socks. <laughs> Make our mamas proud. Because, you know, am I we wearing a Mitch Matt sock? Mitch Matt sock. I just let me know we're going to go to the Kims, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to come off the shoe. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. Oh, man. Mucho love. Hey, man, the president went to our school for two years. Oh, and uh, I think it was found out that Barack Obama you stayed in uh, Haynes, the That's same right. room that Carlos stayed in, so it's possible that the President of the United States had uh, sex in that room. That's right. Uh, some people like to tease me and say that uh, I might have a presidential jizz somewhere uh, in that room, <laughs> but I say it beats the jizz of any ATO or other... Uh, if there's jizz in the room, heaven forbid I'm anywhere near it, but um, <laughs> my guess is that a lot of you guys are, you know, in, you know, Rooms with much worse conditions. <laughs> oh my god. Hope nobody sees this. <laughs> presidential, yeah, one of the, make sure one of the search terms is presidential jig <laughs> on this. 